Welcome student, I am going to explain 4 as to 1 multiplexer. So this is your block diagram of 4 as to 1 multiplexer where you can see the, that 4 uh, data inputs are there that is D3, D2, D1, D0 and S1 and S0 these are the uh, select lines Y is the output and enable is the input. So this we can uh, write, we can uh, design using uh, the links that is VHDL code. So first create Q, uh, new project, click on next, then give the name here, so I will give max one here, uh, the name for project, then press next button, then the keep this option same that is RTL project, then next, here click on create file, the file type is, is VHDL, then file name will be, uh, I will check I will use box.vhd then press next then don't do any uh, anything here press next again don't do anything here press next and then now choose your part okay so this part I am choosing here and then finish So here the defined module uh, window will come, here entity name will be max and architecture name will be behavioral. So don't do anything there and uh, now we will uh, provide our input ports and output ports. So my input port is D and it is having uh, 4 bit size because there is D, 3, D2, D1, D0. Uh, so because of that, uh, that is of multi bit uh, input. So there is a requirement of array type of type. So I will use bus here so you have to click on bus and then you have to provide three your msb and zero is lsb so after that uh, your s is the select line that is also of two bit size again choose bus and here use one msb and lsb zero then after that e is your input that is single bit then y is your output that is also single bit so choose here direction out so press ok now your file is created max.vht again go in that file so all the code is already created here just go in begin section and now start your process, uh, behavioral modeling you know in behavioral modeling we are using we are giving the behavior of our a multiplexer we are defining your behavior of our circuit so here you have to use process statement so use process keyword and in bracket you have to provide your sensitivity sensitivity list that is your inputs so our input set is d s and then e then after that use begin keyword and in that you have to use if then else block so use if is equal to 1 because if your enable is 1 and your s is 0 0 then it will select it will select d of 0 okay then else this condition for, uh, if this condition becomes false then it will go to check next condition if again it will check if a is 1 and s is s is 0 1 then it will choose your next uh, d input that is d of 1 so after that again if this condition becomes false again it will check next condition that is if e is 1 and s is 1 0 then it will choose next d input that is d of 2 now else it will choose d of 3 ok so this way your process uh, your uh, your bare modeling uh, structure will be there architecture will be there and now you have to end your e block with the help of end if then you have to 
end your process statement using end process and then you have to end your architecture okay so this is your design source now we have to define as you as i said in the previous uh, video that we have to define write the simulation source for giving input values so click on simulation source and again go into flow manager and then click on add sources then click on add or create simulation sources press next and press create file and give the name max underscore tv dot vhd press ok then finish and don't do anything here just change the architecture name that bench and press ok and press s now after that it will create file under sim1 and now in this sim1 uh, in this max underscore tb uh, dot vhd here what you have to do that is you have to define your component so component what component will be here that is max will be it should be same uh, with your previous file uh, entity so here i am going to copy the same port here that is uh, that is defined here so that is here because this should be matched with your test bench so that I'm, I have copied here and now we have to do the signal declaration and for the signal declaration again I am going to copy this that is this and copy it here and what you have to ch do change here that is you know the direction and attach signal keyword here signal keyword here again here remove this out and signal keyword so here your semicolon then again in begin section use ok you know that you have to do port mapping here use uh, component and name max then port map in bracket map the ports d with d then s with s then e with e then y with y so after that again use stimulus code here so stimulus colon process this is your behavioral modeling now again begin and now you place your initialization code here that is we have to initialize all the values input values so now use d of 0 equal to i will assume 1 here then d of 1 i will assume here again i will assume 0 here then d of 2 i will assume here that is 1 again so d of 3 i will assume here that is 1 again here then again uh, you know the truth table of uh, 4 as to 1 multiplexer so we have to give the values of uh, s1 is 0 it, it is uh, initially s1 is 0 will be 0 0 so s of 0 will be again 0 ok and e will be 1 so every time uh, e should be 1 and we wait for 10 picosecond waiting time now I am going, going to copy this whole code this whole because it is again repeated and just we have to change s1 s0 values here so tech here 1 again here 1 0 then again copy here paste here and finally it should be 1 1 ok so after that again paste it finally and here it, uh, s1 is 0 will be 0 0 but here 
this weight for 10 picosecond picosecond is not necessary so just take weight and then end your process statement and end your architecture save this file and now synthesize it using run synthesis option so now it is synthesizing you have some patience it will synthesize in little bit time so see it is synthesizing so it is synthesizing now okay so now we will uh, do the simulation run simulation so no I will minimize it I will minimize it here I will minimize it here I will again minimize it here so now 